Hi, my name is Poppy Cannon Reese, and I manage the costume department at Universal Studios. I've been here for two years. I was a client of this department before that, so I had years of experience as a designer. I love being able to make Universal Studios the place for all costumers and stylists to come to, find what they want in an organized fashion, and make it a good shopping experience. This is what we call our specialty costume annex. Anything that is considered not your normal costume would be in this room. We have a camel costume if you need that. We have a lot of armor from different shows like Chronicles of Riddick, Your Highness, and we're just getting in armor from uh, Snow White and the Huntsman. When um, a movie has been released or it's on what's called a dead wrap, they're not going to reshoot anything else, we get in some of the clothing. This is one of Matt Damon's outfits from Promised Land, which was a focus feature, and this is Frances McDormand and um, Hal Holbrook. This is from Tom Cruise's Oblivion, one of the um, post-apocalyptic extras outfits. This is our jewelry room, and it's got everything from the 50s to uh, the present. So now I'm going to take you on a tour of our main costume warehouse. So this is our main stock warehouse, and it's 27 aisles, double or triple hung, of costumes of every type. We have pretty much any part and piece of a costume you could possibly want. We have the belts, we have the shoes, we have the socks, we have the ties, we have the masks, we have Lucha Libre masks and the cape that goes with them. We have hip hop stuff. Pretty much anything you want for any character you would be dressing for any production and over a million pieces of it. This is what we call our rocker aisle and it's all kinds of things that were made for different rock videos. Silver over the knee boots from the um, bondage gear to the rocker plaids. It's a platform shoe. <laughs> it looks like it's for about a size 20. This area uh, is our 70s men's aisle and it starts with the Baja hoodies and the tie-dye t-shirts and the hippie vests, the hippies chambray shirts. If you're ever doing a scene with something like MC Hammer doing Can't Touch This, we have a whole section of pants from that era. It's like cleaning out a giant closet and we make this stuff available to NBC Universal employees and it's really, it's a fun job every day. It's never dull.